We currently stand in 35 metres below ground uh, underneath the Barbican Theatre. We're standing on top of the floating track slab. So the floating track slab is used in two key locations. The first location is over in Soho and the second location is directly beneath the Barbican Theatre which is where we're standing at the moment. The construction of the FTS is very different than the majority of the track forms on the Elizabeth Line. The floating track slab is primarily constructed using reinforcement. Uh, we then install spring housings with then concrete. When the concrete has achieved sufficient strength, we then jack the concrete and it floats on, on springs and it dampens the noise of the trains as they pass over the top of it. So progress on the FTS is going really well. Uh, we've got 48 slabs in total. There's three left to go and that equates to just under 1.5 kilometres of slab. Once the FTS is complete and it's all jacked up, we then pull the long welded rail across. We then commence the installation of the railway systems element, which is the overhead line systems, the signalling systems and all the power systems in the tunnel. All of this will enable trains to run in December 2018.